Hey, can you hear me? Yeah, uh, well, I can. You bet. Yep. Awesome. So I thought you two guys were going to be in the same place, but obviously you're not. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are not. So, not for a couple more weeks. All right. Hayden, where are you? Uh, I'm sitting in Stephenville, Texas right now. We just got done doing some radio stuff here, and uh, we're headed to Alito, Texas tonight. We got a little acoustic show there. So we actually, I, I had to scarf down my food. We stopped there at this Mexican restaurant. So I scarfed that down real quick so I could come do this. <laughs> okay. Yeah, awesome. I saw on the website you were playing this evening. Um, is that just you or is uh, other people involved too? Uh, it's me and my fiddle player. Okay. Yes, is, this, is this the same guy? Uh, don't mind my cat. One of my cats wandering around, by the way, if you see something strange, it's just a cat. Um, <laughs> is that the same guy who was on that uh, truck bed video that I watched? Yes, the, sir. Yes, sir. Same guy. There was a percussionist or drummer, another guitar player and, and the fiddle player. Yeah, I liked yes, that sir. video. That's I thought correct. that was really cool. I've never seen anything like well, that Well, good. Before. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we were trying to be original. <laughs> so um, let me do the, the quick uh, official introduction, uh, and then we'll get down to it. So hi, everyone. This Sounds is good. Country Music News International, where we speak to the people you need to listen to. My name is Nigel Sharp. And today I have two guests with me. That's Trent Willman and Hayden Haddock. And we're going to find out in a moment who does what in this partnership here. So, guys, <laughs> um, let me actually start with uh, you, Trent. Why did you sign up this guy here, Hayden? Huh. Well, first of all, he's, he's an incredibly talented young man. Um, and... I think that's one of the things that, you know, you look for, but it's, it's only, it's only a part of what you look for in an artist. Uh, obviously talent is one of those things, but the, the other great thing about him, he's the minute you meet him, you realize he's just an incredible human being. He was, he was raised with a great sense of, uh, a, a great work ethic. Um, he knows how to treat people. He's respectful. And um, so many times when you're working with artists, you know, that's that's the tough part is is finding somebody who who, who you're proud to to take with you to go meet people and uh, introduce them to folks. And they'll they'll make you proud. They, you want somebody that's going to do that, that's going to make you proud to be a part of their team. And so Hayden's just an obvious choice. He's he's young. He's energetic. He he's. To me, he's the he personifies the future of country music, and so it's just a no-brainer. Okay. So, do you, did you agree with all of that, Hayden? <laughs> I agree with most of it. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm pretty <laughs> awesome too. No, I'm just kidding. But no, it's it's always nice hearing hearing Trent say stuff like that. So, thank you, Trent, for that. <laughs> you bet. How did you guys actually kind of connect up in the first place? Um, it was actually through um, my publicist, Chelsea. Um, I, I believe you may have been talking to her, actually. Well, we've exchanged um, a few emails, yeah. yeah. Chelsea, um, yeah, yeah. Um, but, yeah, she, uh, a, a while back, she asked me about. Okay, we lost him now. <laughs> yeah, so let's uh, let's come back to you. you you're yourself, a, a, you're a songwriter as well as a producer. And uh, what got you into country music? Well, uh, I don't remember a time when I didn't have music around me. I grew up um, way out in West Texas, and uh, we didn't have a TV growing up. There was no television. So music was sort of always around. Um, and I grew up in church singing. Uh, so I think it was just sort of a, something that was always with me. And um, I went to college. When I went to college, I got in a band and uh, got to travel a little bit and uh, just kept sort of doing that. Just kept at 
you know, playing music and, and got more and more serious about it. I was in several bands and eventually moved to Nashville. And uh, I ended up getting a staff writing position at Seagale Music and um, also ended up getting a, a record deal on Columbia and put out um, a couple of records and and uh, just sort of worked my way up uh, to the production side of things uh, as I've gotten older and, and uh, somewhat wiser. Talking about Hayden, uh, as I understand it, he's still at college, right? He's still, he's a senior this year at okay. Texas a &M. Yeah. And uh, he's still, he's done an amazing job, in my opinion, of holding down all his classes. And then at the same time, he's, he's doing the radio tours. He's playing every weekend. He's, uh, he's working, you know, rehearsals. And uh, so it, it's a lot. He's juggling a lot of stuff and he's putting a lot of miles on the van traveling while he's trying to still go to college. Yeah, I guess that's one of the benefits of being young. You've got a bit more energy to get through all this stuff. Let's talk about Hayden a little bit. It's, um, if we can't talk to him directly, we can uh, talk, talk about him. Uh, so he's a songwriter as well, right? He's a songwriter. He's uh, and he's he's fairly new at the game, but he is just really. He works hard at. It. He's he's gotten really good. He's getting a lot better at sort of uh, figuring out who he is, who his audience is, and uh, so that's that's just something that takes time. He's in the grand scheme, he's very very, you know, early in his career, you know. Yeah. Uh, and so he's he is really figuring it out very quickly, and um, he's and he's great to work with. Um, he's, he comes up quite a bit to write here in Nashville, and now it seems like a little bit of the norm is to to write via Zoom, like what we're doing here. Um, there's a little bit of delay, and it's a little bit yeah. impersonal, yeah. but it works. Yeah, Hayden's just really he's been working hard at it. He's very serious about it, and He's also serious about school, so uh, well, that's good. You know, this is his last year, so we're looking forward to him getting through and graduating, so that he can really focus and full, you know, spend all of his time on music. All right, can y'all hear me now? Uh, oh yeah, that's there you go. okay. Better. Sorry about that. I don't know. The internet here just suddenly went out. Even Zach's phone stopped working, so okay. I don't know. We moved to a different spot, so. We're going to try it. <laughs> well, welcome back. We're very, very happy you. to Sorry. see you. <laughs> hey, Hayden, we, I noticed I noticed you have your Traeger hat on. You've been smoking anything lately in your Traeger? Uh, I've done some stuff. I've been a little busy lately, but uh, we did uh, we did some ribs for Easter. And then we did, I'm trying to think, I did something else. We grill a lot of chicken and stuff like that. But no, I need to do a brisket soon. That's what I need to do. <laughs> I need to lock that recipe down. <laughs> Yeah, Nigel, I don't know if you know about Hayden. He's got, I mean, he's he's become quite the the barbecue man. Yeah, yeah. And so he, <laughs> he likes to grill. But he's he's got a I do uh, a deal with Traeger. They've been sending him products and they gave him a new grill to to to, to smoke meats on. So he's been doing he's been doing a lot of that lately. Yeah. When he's not, you know, yeah, traveling been the world. Trying anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and going to school full time. Yeah, I was just uh, saying to Trent, uh, Hayden, that um, I was hoping that you weren't missing any classes to, to do this interview today because I'm actually a, a part-time lecturer at a couple of colleges here in, in Germany. Um, I teach English. I got you. No, this actually, this actually fell right in the middle between my two classes for today. So we're good. We're okay. good for I'll let for you now. off. I got to get on it. <laughs> got to get on class at 3.30. <laughs> so what are you actually studying for you're in your senior year trent told me yes sir yeah so uh my degree will be in construction science so they okay. put the science in there to make it sound fancy basically construction <laughs> yeah we were also talking about some um, <laughs> songwriting and uh, that's something that really interests me because i've done some of it in the past um do you have uh, any kind of process that you like to use? Yeah, it, it's kind of different every time. I know like for a few of the songs uh, when me and Trent were writing, 
Um, like I know for where you come in, I kind of was doing some little thing on the guitar. Um, and then he kind of started doing it back. And then we kind of put words over that, um, you know, wrote the words to the music, I guess. And then there's other times where, I don't know, I've come up with, with a title before and then you write a song based off the title. And then other times it'll be, you know, a saying or whatever, like still dancing. We, we, Trent, I think came up with the, you know, there's a couple that's still dancing while they, you know, even though the bar is closing down or whatever. Um, so I don't know, I guess I don't really have so much of, of a process. It's, I guess it's actually more random rather than a process, but it always seems to come together. All right. <laughs> right. Hayden, do you, do you enjoy the kind of songwriting process in collaboration with other people? Is that something that kind of gets you going? Is that a help? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, I definitely like the co-writing thing uh, more than trying to write by myself. Um, I'm still so new to songwriting that one, I can use all the help I can get. And two, <laughs> uh, as Trent said, it's, it's, it's just another brain working. Um, and so you just, you know, you can even, even though you might be trying to write about the same idea, you know, one person may have a different perspective on that same idea and that may change the way you go with the song or something like that. So, to me, just like with anything, uh, for the most part, I think multiple brains are better than one. Um, right. cause like I said, you yeah. just get different, different perspectives and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. I definitely well like co-writing, um, a lot, probably yeah. honestly a lot better than writing by myself. <laughs> yeah, I'll definitely go with that. Yeah. So guys, what's happening next? Um, Hayden, you've got a gig this evening. Is that right? That was the, yes, sir. the, the Rito, yeah? Yes, sir. So, yeah, we're headed. We did some radio stuff here in Stephenville, Texas, and then uh, we're driving to Alito, Texas, which is a small town just outside of Fort Worth. And uh, we're playing a little acoustic deal there. Um, and then tomorrow night we're playing in Abilene, Texas, Friday night. Uh, mm -hmm. Got another little acoustic show. And Saturday night we're playing Waco, Texas with Randall King. And we got a bunch of stuff coming up. We're, we're luckily staying busy over here, so I cannot complain at all. <laughs> You anyway, bet. Trent, I, I guess we better wrap it up. I don't think we're going to get Hayden back again. Well, he just texted me. He said he, it keeps knocking him off the internet. So yeah. he said, thank you very much, Nigel, for having him on the show. And he's sorry about the Yeah, that's, a, that's a real shame. Um, you know, we really appreciate you taking the time to do these interviews with us. Uh, means a lot for us over here. Uh, kind of keeps us in touch with who's who and what you're doing. And, you bet. Uh, hey, and I'll... Uh, Okay, Thank so everyone, uh, this was Hayden Partly. He's poor guy's had a lot of problems with the internet. Hayden Haddock, Trent Wilman. My name's Nigel Sharp for Country Music News International. Trent, thanks again, and you take care. Thanks, Nigel. Bye. Thank you. You too. Bye bye.